Morning, everybody, here in Munich at the OJ convention, and it's such a big honor and privilege to be able to talk to the Kessler sisters from 1959. Yes. Hello, good evening. Good, good evening. evening. So, <laughs> tell us, uh, how <coughs> did you actually get involved with the Eurovision Song Contest in the 50s? Well, we didn't really want to do it because it was the debut of our singing, but our record company in Germany thought we had to go because we were already known in, in France for the Lido in Paris. And so they thought, if we go and sing a song, we, we may make it. But we didn't make it because we didn't think the song was too good and we don't think that we were, we were too good. Too good. <laughs> Have, have you seen the performance again? You, yes, I've it? seen it on film, yeah, yes. Okay. But I never watched it completely. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. uh, of course, you, you were quite popular, but has your revision opened any doors later on? In your career? No, no, it didn't no. have to. No. Not for us, no, of course. Because, no. No. We're not really record stars. We've always been um, visual. dancing visual, yes. you know, because we moved all the time. So our uh, success was being visual and it, everybody wanted to see us not only singing like a record star would do, but dancing and so it was always visual. You became very successful in the United States. Uh, when when yeah. did you start your career in the US? 1963. 1963. We did our first television show, uh, the Red Skelton Show, who nobody knows anymore here in Europe. No. Red, Red Skelton, Skelton you know. was a comedian. Yes. And um, it was very successful, so we got a live uh, magazine title. And uh, if you get a title on live magazine, you know, your career starts immediately. And that's what happened. And so we did many, many television shows in, in the United States. Is the competition fierce in the US? In the, well, in the, in the we didn't business? feel any competition. No, no, no. no. because we, we were twins. I mean, we were something special, you know, not just one singer, a successful singer. Uh, so we were something out of uh, the normality. Yeah. So whom did you get to perform with? I mean, they must have been very popular artists. Oh, everybody. everybody. Sammy Davis Jr. We worked with Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, uh, Victor Bing Borger, Crosby, Bing Crosby, Bing Eddie Bing. Fisher. And on, on the Ed Sullivan show in New York, we met all of the big stars, yeah. even Jackson Five. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, yeah. when he was still small. He was and 12 dark. years old. It was in 69. It was the Jackson Five performing there. And we didn't even realize, uh, you know, that he would be a big, big star after. Uh -huh. Muhammad Ali came at, on the Ed Sullivan show and sang. Yes. We came in chains was the song. We came. Wir sind in Ketten gekommen. Yeah. yeah. Und dann natürlich, na mein Lieber. Harry Belafonte. Harry Belafonte. Uh, I, we really were lucky to work with all the big stars in the USA. So what is the best memory you keep from one of these artists? Well, uh, no, difficult. all of them all of them were wonderful colleagues. I admire more of all of them Sammy Davis Studio because he was so versatile. He was a fantastic tap dancer. Mo he moved beautifully and he, he sang voice. beautifully. Oh. He, he was complete. He played I instruments. I mean, he was so complete, you know, yeah. in incredible. As an artist, I would say Sammy Davis Jr. But uh, Dean Martin, very pleasant, very relaxing, you know, he, the, the, he was the type. Uh, Frank Sinatra, very interesting because he was very uh, humorous. You never knew. Is he in a good humor? Is he in a we, bad humor? We used to call him Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Mr. Hyde. <laughs> <laughs> But he was nice to us because we never bothered him. Bothered let's him. say yes. people bothered him all the time. When when he showed up in, in a hotel, he said, "Frank, Frank, here, Frank, there." People bothered him so much that he 
that he really got fed up and he could be getting very nasty. 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 Yes. yes. But we never did that. We always stayed back and let him come to us. So he did come to us because he thought, look, there are two girls who never come to me and they don't want anything from me. That's interesting. <laughs> Did, did you miss Europe at that time while you were in the US? No, no. because we always went there very shortly. I mean, okay. the, the most we've been like four weeks, six weeks, okay. not more. We were supposed to go to the Lido in Las Vegas, but this would have been for one year, and we did not want to go for such a long time. Okay. Because you never have a day off, and you have uh, three shows or even more. Nine and shows a week. Nine shows a week and never a day off. And we didn't want to do that. Too hard. And then you went on to live in Italy for a yes. while. What did you do there? For a while, for many, for many, many years. years. Oh, yes. God, since 1961. Television. And we still go there. Yes, okay. yes our, our professionally, our, our first country is Italy, really. Oh, is it? Yes, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. still. Yeah. Uh, I heard that you were invited by the uh, San Remo Festival. Yeah? Yes, we uh, did in last year, February. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, uh, Just as guest, not one uh, of the artists who uh, represent Italy at the Eurovision Song Contest. So, so not necessarily the winner, I think, but uh, they pick one of the artists to represent Italy in the Eurovision Song Contest. I don't yes. even remember yeah. who. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was the girl with the glasses. She has a very interesting voice. What's her name? Oh, God. Yes. From last uh, year, you mean? Yeah. Uh, Emma, 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 Maroni. Emma Maroni. Ah, yeah, but she has a different name. She has an artist's name. Well, it's called A Adela or something. Adela? No, I don't know. Okay. Do, do you still follow the Eurovision Song Contest on TV? Yes, yes. if I have time. Yes. If it doesn't, if it doesn't go too long. <laughs> 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 yes, because after three hours, Mm. Every every song sounds the same to me, <laughs> more or less. You know, yeah, yeah. you don't you you cannot. Uh, different. I don't like shows or anything in the theatre that's too long. Everything that goes over two and a half three hours, I'm I'm feel, fed up. You're bored, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, may an industry question uh, yeah. since you are twins. What is the thing you like most about your sister and what you dislike about each other? I dislike any, everything that... <laughs> <laughs> and I dislike everything about her. <laughs> yeah. But we still have to stick together. <laughs> so, no, is there anything you actually appreciate in, 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 the, uh, in the show business but you have always appreciated? Well, you know, what, what the good thing is uh, being two, we were able to travel all over the world by ourselves. Right. You know, if you were, if you would have been alone, it would have been difficult. Yeah. yeah. Yes. We were very strong being, being two. two. Yes. A woman alone could not travel the world. Yeah. Not in the 60s. Not in the 70s. Today. Yes. Today maybe, but. You know. Oh yeah, and uh, obviously last year uh, the winner of the Eurovision Song Contest became very popular. The yeah. Austrian Conchita. winner Conchita was. What is your, your opinion about the winner? I well, think she's wonderful. Yes, she's uh, interesting. I mean, at first impact, it it's a little, you know, strange when you see her with the beard. Now you get used to her. <laughs> now you get used to it. But we still think maybe she should uh, get Take rid of the, the, the beard. The beard. Okay. Yes, yes, and be uh, androgyn, you know. Oh, yeah. be, uh, Just be, be a woman. woman. Because be she's, a, she was supposed to be a woman. She, her figure, her bones, her hands, everything is so feminine that she was supposed to be born a woman. Mm -hmm. And I think if she goes on being a woman without a beard, uh, because she has a wonderful voice, her figure is outstanding, and uh, she she will make it, you know. But maybe this was it, to to be at the song contest with the beard and the long hair as a woman with a beard. Maybe this was important, you know. Maybe she wouldn't have made it if she was just a woman. Somehow I thought when she won the competition it was political because since Putin does not like uh, homosexuals, 
she went because everybody, every other country said, now we show it to him. Mm -hmm. Homosexuals are human beings too. And we stick, we stick to her and we vote for her. It, she was good. I will not say that she, vo she was voted because she was a half woman, half man. But I think it was a little politically too. Uh, Eurovision has developed a lot, obviously. Um, could you imagine seeing uh, Conchita performing in the 60s? Would this have been uh, such a big shock for the audience that they wouldn't have watched the competition? Not the way she's performing no. today. No, 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 no I don't no. think so. No, it no, because no. nobody outed themselves when they were homosexual. Mm. Nobody outed themselves. It was forbidden. Mm. But uh, since the 80s, uh, right. they can out themselves, they are accepted which is wonderful, I think, and uh, so she can go as a woman. She's a beautiful woman. I don't know, maybe she's even a beautiful boy, but I don't know. <laughs> I've never seen her as a boy, really. Never. You can Google it. Yeah. It's yeah. Thomas Neuwirth, and yeah, you will yeah. see yeah. the pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe we go on the internet. Can we see yeah. him as, yeah. a yeah. as, a, yes. as a boy? There are many pictures. Okay. Oh, yeah? yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Absolutely. Yeah. We will. Mm -hmm. And uh, to uh, end this uh, beautiful conversation, what are the plans for the future? We're going to do the Udo Jürgens musical in Berlin in the summer, which is called I, Ich war noch niemals in New York. And we play not together because there's one mother part, and uh, well, so we, we play you alternative. Know, we cannot play. No. One could play the daughter maybe if she had she a, a, a lifting. <laughs> Lifting, then maybe she could play the no, daughter. As the mother part, <laughs> and uh, we think it's fun, uh, interesting, not to play together for oh, we change. Like as uh, a change, we like it. We yes. have been been doing things not always together, especially in Italy, uh, presenting young artists. She from the south, me from the north. Uh, but uh, it's, it's fun to lo we look forward to it because the musical is going to be successful because of all of the, the music Udo Jürgen songs. Mm. Well, thank you very much for oh. giving us some time. Uh, it was a real honor okay. for us. Thank, thank you. The, uh, thank Eurovision you. fans will really enjoy this. Interview. Okay. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you. Thank you.